Introduction The badminton match is due on Saturday. Ramesh and his friends are busy preparing the court. Look what Ramesh is doing. He took some white chalk powder and placed at a point. Then he made a straight line starting from a point and extending to some distance. Let us learn about the various geometry figures he used while preparing the court for match. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define point Define line segment Define line and array Describe parallel and intersecting lines Identify an angle a full stop at the end of sentence denotes a complete sentence. The full stop is a point with dimensionless shape. The almost invisible tiny dot by a sharp tip of pencil is the nearest idea to the point. A point determines the location. It tells us about the position. A point is labeled with capital letter like A, B, C. These points are read as point A, point B and point C. A natural example of point is star in the night sky. There are many examples of a line segment in our daily life. The edge of desk, blackboard, pencil box, ruler or lunch box is line segment. Take a paper, fold it and then unfold it. The mark left due to folding of paper is a line segment. Take a thin thread and hold it without slack. It represents a line segment. The shortest distance between two points is known as line segment. Starting and ending of line segment are its end points. A line segment can be named by naming its end points. We can call this line segment as AB or BA. When the end points of a line segment are extended in both directions without any limit, it becomes a line. To represent a line on paper, we put arrows at both sides of line segment. You can represent a line by drawing a line over the two points representing it, for example, a B. Frequently, line is also given by single letters L, M, N, etc. We can represent a line or line segment by two points. It is interesting to note that a line contains infinite points. Look at the figure. When two lines pass through a single point, we call them intersecting lines. Two lines L1 and L2 pass through a point P, then L1 and L2 are intersecting lines, and P is the point of intersection. We can also define intersecting lines as two lines having one common point. A variety of examples around us has intersecting lines. Another set of lines are those which do not intersect. Such lines which do not meet at all are called parallel lines. The distance between these lines remain constant. Here, two lines L and M do not intersect, so they are parallel lines. A few examples of parallel lines from daily life include sides of a road, tracks of railway lines, edges of a book. We have learnt about a line segment. What if we keep one end point fixed and extends the other? Do we have any name for such figures? Yes, it is called a ray. You can consider this as sun rays. Geometrically, we call the fixed point as the point of origin and extension as its direction of travelling. We name ray also by two points, a point of origin and a point before the arrow. Let us now move to another topic. The open door of Almira or a box 
forms an angle. In language of mathematics, when two rays start from a common point, we say that an angle is formed. In the given angle, ray AP and AQ has a common point A. The two rays forming an angle are called the arms or sides of the angle. The common end point is the vertex of the angle. Angle is named as angle PAQ. Note that the vertex specifying the angle is written as the middle letter. In the figure shown, interior and the exterior of the angle is denoted by different colors. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. A point determines a location. It is denoted by a capital letter. A line segment is the shortest distance between two points. The line segment joining points A and B is denoted by AB. A line is obtained when a line segment is extended on both sides indefinitely. Two lines meeting at a point is called intersecting lines. Two lines in a plane are said to be parallel if they do not meet. A ray is a portion of line starting at a point and going in one direction endlessly. Two rays start from a common point forms an angle.